In this video, I'd like to help acquaint you with solid edge assemblies and compare some functions against SolidWorks. Let's start a brand new assembly. One of the big differences between solid edge and SolidWorks in assemblies is going to be the parts library. You can think of the parts library as Windows Explorer docked right inside the solid edge window to help you get parts and subassemblies into your main assembly. You can find the parts library in a couple of different places. First, you'll find it in this drop down in a list of other panes, and the parts library is right here. But you can always find it on the View tab, Panes, and Parts Library, or the Panes icon in the Quick Access toolbar. The controls at the top of the parts library are meant to help you navigate the folder system, and you can always access all of the folders available on your computer through the dropdown. Each solid edge part is going to give you a preview in the lower window, and there's several things that you can do with this window. With the left mouse button drag, you can rotate the part in the preview. Right mouse button drag allows you to pan. You can use Shift right mouse button to rotate, Control right mouse button to zoom, Control Shift right mouse button to pan. To put parts into the assembly, just drag them from the list window and drop them into the main graphics window. The part origin will snap to the assembly origin for the first part in the assembly. If we put in another part, the preview window will help you pre-position this part. I'm just going to make this so that it's obvious what's going on. In the preview window, I've angled the part, and now I can pull this part into the assembly, and when I drop it into the assembly, it assumes the same orientation as the preview window. So the preview helps you get parts pre-positioned in the assembly. Notice that this part comes in translucent green. This means you are in what Solid Edge calls Flash Fit, which is similar to SmartMates in SolidWorks. The Assemble tool shown here is essentially the same as Flash Fit. You can also shift drag a part from the Pathfinder to add an occurrence. That's Solid Edge's word for instance in SolidWorks. And that will come in in the default orientation, which is aligned to the assembly origin. Alt drag from the Pathfinder will bring in an instance with the same orientation as the occurrence you drag. What SolidWorks calls mates are called relationships here in Solid Edge. All of the relationships have more functional names than geometrical names. So you don't have one to one correlation of SolidWorks mates to Solid Edge relationships. Solid Edge relationships are called things like planar align, axial align, insert connect, and there's even one called mate just to make things a little confusing. It may take a little practice, but you will get the hang of it in short order, I'm sure. Solid Edge is also going to help me by selecting the pertinent features of this part. For example, right now it wants me to select the axis of the part, so I'll go ahead and select the axis, and then it makes it very easy to select a corresponding axis. So I'm over this hole, and Solid Edge will allow me to select that and then snaps the part right into place. Often in Solid Edge, you don't have to use the specific mates. You just use Flash Fit and tell it what features of the part you want to put together. And Solid Edge figures out the rest. For example, I still have to locate this part lengthwise in the support. So I'm going to select the end face and the face of the support. Solid Edge wants to put them coincident, but I'm going to give it an offset of 0.5. It goes 0.5, but it goes in the wrong direction, so I'll tell it negative 0.5, and that's correct. Now you've got another option here in the Flash Fit locked rotation. This is much easier than SolidWorks, where you have to find planes of the parts or some sort of planar features to get them aligned or parallel, but in Solid Edge, it's just a button, so this will completely define the part if I lock rotation. To get out of this command, I'll just right click, or click the X to close. If I select a part in the Pathfinder, Solid Edge lists the relationships that the part has. You can edit one of these relationships by double clicking it and the command bar comes up for that particular relationship. Again, to get out of that, just right click 
Putting the cursor over a part in the Pathfinder will give you a tooltip that will show you its basic state. We can see that this part is grounded and that it has an aluminum material. The next part is showing that the part is under constrained, but that it's also made of aluminum. The Pathfinder is an integral tool in Solid Edge, much like the Assembly Manager in SolidWorks. The symbols used in the Pathfinder all mean something, and you can find a legend of sorts in the Solid Edge help by searching Pathfinder in Assemblies. This includes a legend of the assembly relationship icons. To fully constrain the part, I just select it, double click on the mate in the list that says the rotation is unlocked, and then lock the rotation. Now if I put my cursor over the part again, it says it's fully positioned. If a part is open in the assembly, and it's also shown in its own window, double clicking on the part in the assembly window will take you to the part's own window. If the part is not open in its own window, Double clicking on it will allow you to edit the part in place. In place is the solid edge equivalent to SolidWorks in context. If a part has sketch relations to geometry from another part, that relation is said to be an inter part relation in solid edge. You can start a part in place with the Create Part in Place tools. The Tools tab has a special Interpart Manager to allow you to manage these relationships between parts. Patterning instances in assemblies is the same as patterning features, which was demonstrated in another video in this series. Switching components in the assembly can be done using a number of tools found in the Replace Part dropdown. Special tools exist also for selecting parts in an assembly through size filtering, visibility, fence select, and settings selection priority to faces or parts. In Solid Edge assemblies, default priority is given to parts. In SolidWorks, default selection priority is given to faces. The Data Management tab allows control of file properties, links, status, updates, where used, and other capabilities. Motion, Rendering Animation Tools exist in the Tools tab. Measurement and Interference Checks are done from the Inspect tab. Thanks for watching.